Hi guys. I thought I'd take you on a spin down the road. We're going to the clubhouse. Maggie was kind enough to have it at her house. So I am headed there and luckily it's just right down the road. Less than a mile down the road. Okay, maybe about a mile and a half down the road. Not too far. We're starting to have uh, below zero weather again. Scheduled for a couple of days at least. Uh, for the week it looks like. And my phone is, the snow is making my phone move. So, here I am. The car is very cold, or the truck. It's uh, it's only minus three right now, but I tell you what, the steering wheel is pretty cold. And uh, uh, there's puppies, Australian Shepherds. I know the person who breeds them. I can't remember what the dog's name is, but they're loose. I'm glad my, my dogs haven't gotten loose this winter. Oh well. Those two always get loose though. Oh, there's the paintball park. Yeah, we have a section sectioned off just for them. That's where I go blueberry picking and cranberry picking. I took you guys down there last time I went. All right, well, I'm getting ready to go on a unpaved road that's super, super bumpy. So I am going to, first of all, I just realized I didn't have the heat on. No wonder it's getting really cold in here. And uh, this road up here is super, super bumpy. So when I get to Maggie's house or the clubhouse, I'll see you guys in a bit. Later, Gators. Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet, and I'm really far away today, but I have my crochet cohort in crime with me, Maggie. Say hi, hi. Maggie. Hi. And her son, my second son, is right over there. Hey. <laughs> and we are in the clubhouse. All of this yarn over here. And I'll spin you guys around, but not right now. All this yarn back here, she has graciously donated her space. And um, so this is the clubhouse where all the angels come. And we bring yarn um, for donations, or we pick up donations of yarn and bring it here. And we also um, take yarn away. Oh, I'm going to fall out the chair. Not a lot. All right, so I brought all of my donations. And I have decided that I'm going to make two new goals this year. One for total yarn donated and one for kits donated. I just haven't come up with a number yet. Or maybe I'm just going to just donate donate all I can. But I brought three huge bags of stuff. And we're going to go through those in a little <coughs> bit. But Maggie, what have you been working on? Um, I've been struggling with a shawl, but I finally got it. You got it? I got it. And so I'm, I'm working on this one. I don't know what it's called. Um, the pattern, it, it had no name. Um, yeah, the, I kind of had to just watch the video and cool figure it out, but I've got the pattern memorized now, and uh, this will be one of my fair entries when it's done. Awesome. 72 inch. 72 inch? Yeah. Yeah, a, a lot of people have a lot of different um, categories of fair, and fair entries that we don't have, that maybe we could make a suggestion on getting some of those. Yeah, Kimberly is, is extremely crafty. Um, she does tons of stuff. Um, 
Ella, Ella from No Catchy Name, they have um, wreath entries for season. They're like seasonal. Uh huh. She can yeah. she can put like whole bunches of different wreaths yeah. in there, and I I don't even think wreath is in our category. Or in any of the, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how, that would be in the other category, I think. Yeah, so. You know. And I, but is it even included in knitting and crochet, or is it in another section? If it, you're right, I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, I've been, you know, just from the different, um, watching the different YouTubers, I've noticed yeah. that they have a lot of different categories that we don't have. Oh, yeah. And maybe yeah. we can investigate so we can start seeing if we can get some new categories added. Right, right. I'd like to see how we could do that, too. Yeah. Add some new categories. Um, I really think the, the thread category, the thread crochet category is lacking. Oh, so, yeah. Well, you know. You could do that. I, I don't yeah, do but thread. There's, there's a few of the angels that yeah. will do thread. Uh, not very many. Because they have problems seeing it, I do too. So I use my, you know, all these glasses and magnifying glasses and things like that, so I can see what I'm doing. So I know my part of the angels is finding the different places to donate to. Right. And I know that you keep track of all of the yarn and everything, which I would say is probably the hardest job. I think I thought you had the hardest job. Oh, I know. Because I have a I have a good system now. On um, when people come in, angels mm -hmm. specifically, uh, uh, when they come in and they make donations, I they get a page mm -hmm. and all, the date and all their donations is put on there every time they donate, and, um, and then if they do take uh, yarn away, then uh, that's also written down on another page whether they took a bag mm -hmm. full of yarn. Or if they just took a, a couple of skeins, I have an entry for each mm -hmm. one of those. So we can kind of keep track of the influx and the out. Go. Yeah. And how do they drop off donations? Or I know I have picked up a couple um, of like the finished objects of, of where we're donating to. Mm -hmm. But do they bring them here also? They bring them here. The majority of the angels are bringing them here. Okay. There are a couple of angels that um, actually work in the hospitals mm -hmm. and they have with their co-workers um, gotten together and are doing crocheting uh, themselves and they just give them directly okay. to mainly children Alrighty. and things like that there and I didn't have a problem with mm -hmm. that so um, you know, they just need to show me some way you know take a picture mm -hmm. of them with the with the item or something like that they've donated okay and um, you know who, they give it to somebody then take a picture of them how much they love it and all that yeah but from what I understood um, from one of the other ladies that works, one of our other angels that works in, in the medical field, um, she said that our blankets, Afghans, uh, wheelchair, uh, cozies, mm -hmm. uh, baby blankets, especially the baby blankets, um, are a huge hit. Okay. Just huge. That's great. To yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know I do, um... I would say 90, 95% of what I do, I do as donations or yeah. gifts for somebody. I very rarely keep anything for myself. Yeah, that's me too. And yeah. um, I just like knowing that the stuff that we make is going to somebody who can actually use it. And from it's not just sitting in a warehouse um, somewhere because I know most people donate you know to like the shelters and stuff at Christmas time and then throughout the rest of the year they don't um, think about donating mm -hmm. until it's Christmas time and here we do it all year round right and yes. so and then and actually it's during the Christmas season that we don't do a uh, yeah. lot because everybody else does and we focus primarily yeah. throughout the whole year yeah, there's there's a very, from what I have understood, word of mouth, 
there's um, two to three other people who do this. Mm -hmm. um, but none of them do it on the scale we do. Yeah. And how many, I don't even know how many, I know we have lots, not lots, um, I know we have fewer angels than we do like crochet friends but how many an technical angels do we how have now? How many angels? Let me look. Because um. I know we have Whip Wizard, Aurora Fox, um, is Miso Yarny an angel? Yes. Or she's an if, angel? If they have a nickname, they're an angel. Okay. And and that's the thing. They they have only angels get nicknames. Only angels get nicknames. Yeah. Okay. And that's one way for us to keep track of it. And so, my nickname is Mad Hatter. And Maggie's mic nickname nickname is Mandala Mama or Mandala Madam. Madam. She I loves believe. Mandala. I uh, that's that's my yarns. Yeah. Let's or go. mandala. Mandala. I, I, every, people, I just say mandala. Sometimes I'll say mandala. I don't so know. So right now we have 11 angels. So yeah, we have 11 angels. And we have... Uh, and only the angels are allowed to get yarn from the clubhouse because... For free. It, for free. No. If they don't make something to donate... Um, then that de defeats the purpose of donations that Maggie is wonderful at collecting donations. Um, and I mean, see, I think she has the hardest job. My job's easy. I make a call, I go to a website, and, you know, boom, that's it. And then I say, angels, we need this. And we all get together and, and we start making yeah. that, yeah. Um, no, it's super simple. Um, what I'm doing is every time an angel comes to donate, um, I remind them how to do it. And the ones that come frequently, they know how to do it. Yeah. So they come in and they, we have a donation box down here. And they uh, put their donations in there and write down what it was on the, the pad. And um, then they'll, they'll inevitably come back here to the yarn and might take a couple of skeins and they write that down and off they go. It's a real simple system, you know, um, as opposed to club members for the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. That is a, is a different ritual. Right. And, um, and that's, and see, I only worry about the angels. She does the, the clubhouse part. Yeah. I just come to the clubhouse when I can, which is not very often, but when I do, I normally pick up donations, and um, and I see I do have some donations. Yes. To pick up, let's see what they are. Okay. We have. Ooh, a, a hat. Ooh, hat I like that. That was donated by me. You made this. I did. Cool. You don't like to make hats. No, but that one was kind of fun. That I enjoyed that. I made one for him too for Christmas. And um, it's hanging right over there. Here, let's see. Isn't that cool looking? That's Waffle Stitch hat, yeah. and I love the Waffle Stitch. I couldn't think of what it was called, even yeah. though I'm looking straight I at love the darn the waffle, thing. Waffle Stitch. So. Oh, you've made a whole bunch of soap sacks. I've made a, a few. These. I'm I'm slacking. I've been made lots of face scrubbies though. The ones that I have made. short but it'll work for pieces so these yeah. are the ones I've made holy moly <clears throat> those are cute plus I, I also uh, I made one for me and the bar of soap that I have in it is a family size bar uh -huh. so it fit in the bag tight and actually using it um, the bag needs to be loose you know, it will, once it gets smaller, the soap gets smaller. Right. It will, it will, it will loosen. Yeah. But the, oh, the, oh, can I steal this one? No, I'm now, just Now, see, teasing. that one is made out of a cotton cross and oh, a cotton blend. Those are pretty colors. You know me. I like Very my bright pretty. colors. 
but I don't think it's going to be as durable for adults. So I think this one, this this was an experiment. Mm -hmm. So I think this would be best used on babies. Um. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good. these are all going to the shelter, so we'll it can be perfect. used. Yeah. So um, we'll I'll mark on here that it's probably best used for a baby. And then there's that. These are just so cute. I've only made and one. Then, Here's one from our angels. Oh, look, an angel brought this one in. And this is also from an angel. And here's one, another from an angel. I have some of this at home. And then we have a, an angel wash rag. Cool. And I like those colors. Here's another angel wash rag. I really like that one. It's so soft and delicious. It is. Oh, here's another one. Same stitch, I think. Cool. Beautiful. Those are the wash rags. Then we've got some small toddler and down to preemie hats. Oh, cool. Look at this little thing. Oh, this is... It's so cute. That's a toddler size. Maybe a four or five. Maybe four-year-old. Three or four. Oh, it's so like cute. That. That's an adult hat that was done by an angel. Cool. I like this stitch. Was this done by Whip Wizard? No. That was done by, I believe, Miso Yarny. Miso Yarny? I like this. That's cute. I never thought about doing that was what is it, like Yarny the popcorn stitch like at the remember. bottom. That is cool. I like those colors, too. And Not then, for me, mind you, but... <gasps> oh, there's another little one. Crochet Me Pink Kelly will like that one. Won't fit your head, though, Kelly. And then we get into oh, the babies. Oh, a little baby preemie. And these are the... That's baby. This is... These are preemies. Oh, these are preemies? Yep. Oh, look at the little baby preemie babies. Oh, there's two more in here. Goodness. Oh, they're so cute. And they're um, neutral colors. Yeah. Except for these two. Yeah. Oh, look at them. They're adorable. That's one tiny little head. Yeah, that's preemies. And then there was this, and this was from Miso Yarny. Oh, it's a bib. Yeah, It's cute. And and she used Velcro on the attachment. Oh. And it, it works really well. And she said she didn't use any other type of glue or anything to attach it. It was just the Velcro backing, and it is stuck on there. Huh. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it worked out really well. Awesome. Yeah, I like that pattern, too. I like that pattern, too. You can too. do a lot with it. And a bib for a boy. How cool. Yeah. Because I know boys are left out a lot. And then there's a bag full of the little booties that I did for... These ones probably should go to the hospital. Oh, little preemie booties. Look how yeah. tiny these are. Well, they're close to... They're newborn. Or, yeah. Here's another one. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. I don't do booties. Those are super fast. I enjoyed those. Look, my fingers can fit in there. Uh-huh. Oh, they're so cute. They're just a little something to slip on over the sock. You oh, know. they're so cute. And it, they can go to the hospital. That's probably where they'll be used the most. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the babies will go home with them. Yeah. You know. So, well, I would hope they would go home with them and they wouldn't full keep them. Of them. Awesome. And then I have a couple left of a little bigger sizes. Oh, there's, these are cute. There's one. And Look at those. Aren't they cute? Whoops, I'm going to drop it. Oh, they're adorable. Yeah. I'll do baby dresses models. and diaper covers all over the place, but I cannot get booties to it's, save my life. It's the turning of the heel, in it? Uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll have to show you how to do this one. There's no turning. It's cool. It was a cool pattern. So that's it that's for it. our donations all right. that we have so yeah. far this month because it was emptied last month. Yeah. Yeah. So, and of course, some of our... Um, Angels live 
far out of town. Mm -hmm. So they only come in to donate every few months. Yeah, two and three months or Aurora so. Fox lives yeah, all the way out way of Fox. Out. So, oh, wonder how she got the name Aurora Fox. <coughs> yeah, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of picked that one for her because she likes Aurora colored yarn. Oh, I do too. And yeah, yeah. And she minus the greens. Yeah. But we know me, I don't like me some green. <laughs> Unless yeah. it is an, an emerald green or a neon green. Like that green over there? Yeah. Uh -uh. Oh, I don't like that green either. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's a horrible green. It is a horrible green. Yeah. That's why those are, they're just kind of there for decoration, but I kind of want them gone because they're, they're ugly. You need to put them over on the angel side. I probably will, yeah. I probably will just put them that over would make, there. That would make, uh... It'd her, make an afghan. It would make an afghan. It would make a couple of lap blankets for the nursing home, too, for it some would, dude. It would. It's just worsted. Ryan, can you see how many yards are in that? Yeah. I think you could probably get three uh, or three lap blankets. 603. You can get a, a uh, lap blanket. At least two. Yeah. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's See, a real ugly color. It is an ugly color. I'm sorry for you guys that like this, but mm -mm. that's a uh, uh, here, Ryan. The blues can be pretty, but uh, yeah, that, I really don't like that green in there. Yeah, if that had been a bright neon green, pretty happy green, yeah, it'd have been nice. But it it looks like an accident the dog did. <laughs> 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 oh, so um, I don't know. I think that's. Oh, do you have a present for me? I do have a present for you. It's not really a present. Oh, no, it is because it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that I worked on for you. Look, finished because I know you hate amigurumi. Yes. Look, I I know some of you guys have been asking. If it got done yet. And look, it's done. I still have to, I told her that I would put the hair and stuff on it. But it's done. And I'm keeping it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it does stand up. Well, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these. Let me put these back in Do you want me to the... take these with me today or do you want to leave them here? Let's leave them. Okay. And let's do a monthly thing. Sounds good to and me. And that's another way we can keep track. Yeah. Of, Here's of one more. progress and stuff. All righty. Oops, that one in the... And plus, I'm running out of room, which is why I'm going through all of my yarn. Look! It's done! Heck, I don't know. I might just leave it like that. Oh, it, it's so cute. A little albino giraffe. Just put his little knobs on up here. Yeah. Did you make those? Oh, hell, I didn't. I might have to bring it back to you. <laughs> yeah, you probably will. So won't. you can attach them on there. Or maybe I'll just leave it like that. And It's, it's a knobless, knobless giraffe. Right. Huh. So, yeah, he's done. She, it. I think I put the pattern back in there. Two. Well, do we can when I'm done attaching the fur, I'll bring the pattern here, okay, and we can um, keep it for a um, a clubhouse okay pattern because we all know I am not gonna do this again, right? All righty, okay, just make sure it's in there before you go. Yes, that I actually yeah I did saw it. Put it I in saw there. it okay. in there. All righty, <coughs> well um. Do we want to do this on camera, or do we want to do this separately? On a different one? Um, like part two? Yeah, let's do a part two. Okay, let's do a part and, two. And um, that way this one... It won't be so long. Well, no, we can do. We can go ahead and do it now. You think? Yeah. Okay. okay, so I went through my yarn stash, and I know some of you guys saw... Um, uh, ooh, do you know how many... Oh, I didn't want to use these pretty scissors, but there we go. I went through my yarn stash, and there is a gift in here for Maggie that I got her for Christmas 
but it got lost in my stash. So <laughs> um, I do need to write these down because I have to come up with a goal amount for donating out of my stash. Can I put it in my notebook and then just uh, send it to you? Oh, you want it physically written down? Yeah, oh, I'll just, I'll write it down afterwards. Okay. But, um, I had some of this premiere. Here, I'm going to sit. I'll come a little bit closer. Go ahead and move the chair. Oh, God. They are heavy chairs. They are heavy chairs. There we go. Okay, so I brought some Premier Serenity Chunky because, you know, this is not my color. And I think I got three of those. All right, so, and they'll go back here in the clubhouse section. The angel. The angel section. Yeah. I have... I think I did three of these, um, Red Heart Dreamy. I did make a that purple baby sweater that I put in the fair last year. Okay. That you were sewing in ends for me. Right. Because I forgot I made that, oh, that out was of this out Dreamy. Dreamy. Yeah. Oh. So I have three of those. I have... Um, Two of the Unforgettable Waves. That's going to make something cool. Uh, I have some Impeccable. That is pretty impeccable. That is really pretty. I think that would make a cup. One should make a hat, right? Um... I think it would make really nice looking hats. Yes, for dudes. Uh, there's 187 yards, so yes, there can be two hats out of here. Yeah. Okay. And I have, I know one of these is a different color, I think, or maybe it's not. No, three Icelandic Red Heart Super Savers. Um... Two wow. um, country basket Caron jumbos. And Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in Mirage or Espresso. Okay. I have two Barcelona loops and threads. Don't ask me why I bought me, these colors. Let me feel that stuff. Hey, this is gushy. Yeah. This is nice. This is a... Oh, this is a five. Yeah. I know you said we had lots of bulky. We but, do. We do. Um, Some of it went out recently, so there is space up there. Yeah. And I have a Lion Brand Pound of Love in white. I started doing something with it, but I un undid it. And, oh, I have another one of that Barcelona. So three of those. And, oh, it's this trash bag. It has a scent to it. Oh, the scented ones? Yeah. <clears throat> and a red, red heart super saver. And, I don't like these knitting needles. So I am donating to somebody who wants to learn how to knit. All right, so I have those. Your present is in here somewhere. I okay. promise. Okay. I know for a fact I stuck it in here. Okay. Ah, and it's right here on top. One Ice of, yarns. No, it's the Millen Mandala yarn. Oh. This is the the nylon and acrylic. The some of the other ones is wool. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, 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 man. So, yeah, that's the other one that... That's gorgeous. All right, so... Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I do have a, another mill end in white. I kept one of them because I needed, needed it to trim something. So I brought the Pound of Love in white over and just took the smaller one 
So there's that one. Um, this will make a great baby blanket for somebody. Yeah, it would. Wow, those go together really yeah. nice. I actually won these in a giveaway. Um, and I was going to make a baby blanket, but I just never got around to it. So okay. I'm thinking somebody maybe can use this technically kind of as a kit. Yep. Even though it's not, it doesn't have any instructions with it. Right. But, um... No, that. but they go together really well. They go together very well. Yeah. Okay. Here's a kit that I didn't... Oh, wow. Didn't put on. Um... Because it's not something that I would normally donate. But I have that one and it's made with cotton fair. Look at those colors. Yeah. So, um, I think we need to be particular about this one. Okay. And, um, I know that makes your job harder. Not really. So, um, do they have to use this to make the tank top? Because I'm not sure about that as a donation. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about okay. the tank top. Okay, all right. Um, so, but uh, you know, it comes with that pattern. Yes. And this is cotton. This cotton fair cotton. Yeah. So, yeah. Let me. Oh, that's that's really nice. So let me um, think on it a while and maybe because I don't know where we come up with some ideas. I mean, we could of course donate that to the women's shelter, but that's not. I don't think of that as being a typical donated. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not. I I don't think we've gotten to that point yet, where we could regularly throw out yeah. you know clothing items other than hats, scarves, shawls, and, and right. socks and things, but um. This is this is good enough to use for something baby, right? Or you know we can come up with something else with it. But yeah, yeah I'll 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 think on it. Okay. And see what it could be best used for, and then put that past you and see what yeah. come up Okay. With. And I have this one. I found this one too. Um, you can make two sets of gloves. Ooh. One of each. One set of each color. Those gloves That's will cool. always come in handy. Oh, absolutely. These are mittens. Absolutely nice. Or nice. mittens, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have this yeah. shawl. I know I have another one somewhere. I just haven't been able to find it yet. Um, this one. We always, you can take those to the, um, oh, pretty. to the nursing home. I think the shawls will go better at a nursing home yeah. than. Yeah, more than likely at a nursing home and, ho and hospitals too. Yeah. And here's another shawl. <coughs> and this one is with five skeins. Although I'm just counting the kits. I'm not counting. Right. Um, nice. Oh, that's going to be nice. That's nice yeah. and good. It's and soft, of course, soft. when we get done with this, Maggie and I will go over there and show you it. Well, where are we going? We're going right over there and putting it away. Oh, okay. But I won't, sh I'll sh maybe show you the end. Um, here's one right here. That's some super soft yarn, too. Uh -huh. And I, I really like this hooded uh, scarf. I really do. Yeah. You know, trying to find patterns for a hood has been a struggle for me. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, now that's one that we can use over and over and over because right. we have the pattern twice. Yeah, and then once once uh, we figure out how to do the hood, and I think I know how they've done it, because um, it's just a simple square hood, mm -hmm. uh, you can add that to all kinds of other things. Yeah. You know, shawls and cowls and things like yeah. that. That would be really nice. So, yeah, I mean, here's another one of those. Okay. I like these colors. That's going to be pretty. This one is actually two cowls, one of each color, a green and a blue. And this one actually came with a crochet hook. It's a plastic one, but you know what? It's a hook. That's a big hook. Yeah. <laughs> There's that oh. one, and that one did come open. Okay. So All right. If I, if I make this... And give it to my husband. Will he look like that? Uh, no. Sorry. Oh, okay. 
I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping that I was actually, I know why it's open because I think I started working on one. Oh. And then I was like, well, no, my husband's not going to end up looking like that, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Here's the baby sweater and booties. Maggie will work on the booties and maybe somebody else will work on that sweater. Nice. Nice. And like another Very shawl. Nice. These will get whipped up pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Because I can't do them all myself. Mm -hmm. I know there's a, there's a couple angels that are interested in helping with this. Yeah. That's really delicious. Stuff. I just, I got behind and that was it. And there's another scarf. Well, that's what the angels are for. And another scarf. Mm -hmm. cool. Or a wrap or a wrap. Embrace wrap. Alrighty. Embrace. And uh, this one is just more donations of my yarn that I was able to go through. I'm tearing. You saw the picture of what that top of that one crate look or that tote look like didn't you that I sent you oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah I made a huge mess you made a huge mess cleaning it up yeah okay so I have two skeins of premier puzzle tell ask tell why do I keep buying this these colors look see you got my orange glasses why these colors those are nice and soft. Yeah, I think I have some up there. I'm not and sure if anybody needs any um, pillowcases, I brought pillowcases too. Cool. Good, good, good. And I got a shawl in the ball. Uh oh. I know who's going to jump on this. And another skein of Red Heart Super Saber. And. some more super saver i started doing like mary did and scrunching up some of my yarn and it didn't work out very well for me yeah so, i saw the picture of that i couldn't tell what it was yeah and then some kobu Ooh, but i might take these two back because i do i think i do need at least one blue i'll have to check so the two blues are not completely donated yet. <laughs> nah, they are. I'm just teasing. All right. So those are my donations. And awesome. um, thank you, Maggie, for having me over here. No problem. And showing me what we have and finishing my Thank you for the donations. My giraffe. We'll love it. And um, hopefully I'll be able to bring a, some more over pretty soon. Okay. So... I think we'll wrap this up. Alrighty. We've already been on here for over 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long one. It is. All right, guys. So we'll talk to you later. Say hi and bye to my friend Maggie. Hi, bye. And um, she is my cohort in crime. And uh, so, yeah, I'll bring her on here again. And maybe I can get her to start her own channel. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.